So this is a little bit of a bittersweet post. This box behind me is a house that I built out of a, it was a box for lawn furniture or something. Regardless, it was huge. And I remember seeing it and going, I need to build a house for the kids with this. Uh, so this was, this house is about 18 years old. And the reason why it's bittersweet is because it's, it's gonna find a new home. We have some family friends that have a bigger house and they can finally adopt this uh, for their three-year-old daughter. So the reason why I have this flashlight is on because I was inside working on this, um, adding some more um, improvements structurally. It needed some, the roof was sagging. So I put a, these spikes that, you know, used to stake flowers and, and little bushes. So it's basically a rebar. So there's actually, I've rebarred it in the past and uh, this is the most recent one. And there's actually one right across here. So just to, to perk it up, perk it up a little bit. And uh, so I'll show you some of the features of the house here. This was from an action figure, I think. And actually, it was a Batman action figure. I know exactly where it's from. And, you know, this is, you know, you would say hi to people. This is a mailbox. You put your mail here, put it there, close it to deliver it, and then the person inside has their mail. So that's there. And of course, we have shutters because we are not heathens. And, a white picket fence, a beautiful tree over here, or is it? Because when you open this up, you realize it feels a drawbridge and it's actually an opening to the back cave. And there is a lever here on the inside. You will you pull it to close it up. No one's any wiser. Let's spin this around. 90 degrees. We have a door, and as you can see here, uh, there's foam in here, so it's uh, all, oh, I gotta vacuum this. Uh, it's all wall-to-wall -wall carpeting. Why is my thing not going up? Okay, and this white picket fence extends over, and here's the coolest part I have of the house. As you guys know, I'm a huge fan of the Muppets, and not only is this fun and whimsical, but it's also educational because over here you've got your geometric shapes. You got your triangle, you got your circle. I was gonna say square, see? I may need a refresher in this house. Circle, square, rectangle-ish. And also you've got Bert and Ernie, the buddies. Mm, hey Bert. And their eyes come off, they're Velcroed. So it's a learning tool because Ernie's eyes are not the same as Bert's eyes. See, it looks kind of weird with Ernie's eyes, okay? Especially when they're googly and they're facing in the middle. But, um, but you, Bert's eyes are more circular, okay? Ernie's eyes are more oval. Barkley over here, you can't see his eyes because it's all under his fur. And, hello, I just got big hand eyes. And you got this stick of my hair, but sometimes you can, you can switch it and give Bert a big one round eye. <laughs> That's funny. And and look at look like someone's someone's been biting almost eye like kids over the years. So it's a it's it's seen a lot of wear and tear. A lot of people feel like going through this one because it's been repaired a lot. And over here we've got a beaker. And I'm not sure I actually colored beaker the right shade, but I think it's more a result of me not having a different colored marker. And over here you've got um, Bunsen, who has no eyeballs. And over here you have Cookie Monster. And Cookie has the two big eyes. And uh, so that's, you can climb through all of these, you know, see, climb through the circle, climb through the triangle. And I probably would go through the wrong one because I don't know my shapes. Let's spin it around 90 degrees. And obviously I ha have this thing elevated. It's on the ground, so it's, it's stable. I'm just elevating for the purposes of the camera. So another door. I'm gonna have to retake this because it's swinging a little bit crazy. And over here I have a little bell. Um, I, I, it's in law so that every time you would open it, go ping. So um, he's gonna have to find his own bell, my friend. And we spin it back around again. And you can tell that this, when this was built, because 
Over here, you have certain numbers written here. I don't know if you can read. It says 4, 8, 15, 16, 23, and I can't read that last number. But when you go inside the house and you open up this lever over here, what do you have? You have the Dharma Initiative, the hatch. You've got the hatch in your house. You pull this string to close it. So this is the house, guys. And um, I, I, my kids, it's been up in the rafters, just sitting there for years now, not being used, but there's no way I was throwing this away because first of all, there's a lot of work, uh, <laughs> but just a lot of memories, a lot of good memories. And my daughters, when I told them that it was going to a new home to say goodbye to it, they all were saying no and texting no, but I, I said that this is like Jesse from Toy Story 2. It's slowly just dying up down the rafters. It needs to be played with. It needs, it needs its new Bonnie from Toy Story 3. So and that's what it's going to. So um, Nora, enjoy this. Love it. We did. I'm getting a little emotional because uh, I remember my kids playing it and seeing their faces in that window. So um, yeah, enjoy. And uh, if you keep it in good condition, uh, you uh, maybe can pass it on to someone else. And just to make this official, I took off over here had uh, the our address number of our house. But it was like um, if our address was 405, it was 405 and a half. So I'm giving you guys, uh, the new owners, a new sticker so that you can place it on and you can use a marker to write it on and uh, make this your own. On to the next one. Good girl. And that's how you get in. Let me send you the donut. Here you go. There's an escape hatch. Out the Elmo door we go. Hello. I think I could actually sit in there. Cookie Monster has crazy eyes. Let's do some operation. You gonna put it in the mailbox? Yeah? It might be too big. Okay, Ed. Right, maybe it's that big. Yes. You have some mayo? Yes. Yeah. Sure. Fine.